this time And I need you Hey guys, it's your girl Real Juice here today And since you guys liked the video of me reacting to TikTok horror videos Here's part two of it um, because you guys like me to be fucking scared. So we're gonna continue and we're gonna go through this videos. I picked four again. We're gonna go see them. I haven't seen them at all. I believe. I haven't seen them. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I did four. Like I said, I'll put them here so you guys can check them out yourself. Um, but the full, the first video basically is an 8 second video and let's see what it is. Oh wait, I should put my headphones on so I can hear what the fuck is going on. Now we can start. Alright, so this is my dog, okay. First of all, why is there a motherfucking head in between the door? Like, I can't see the body in... The dog died a year ago? So what the fuck is this? I have questions, Mac. I have questions. I need answers to these. Like... Is this real? The lights are frickling. Fr frickling, wow. Flickering. This has to be a motherfucking joke. It has to be a joke. Because, like, I don't, I don't know. And that's fucking creepy. Like, just a head of someone you love just pops out. I don't, I have questions. I'm probably going to contact this person because I have questions. And if I do, I'll probably give you the answers myself. But I have questions. Our second video. I don't know what it's about, but it says places you should visit if you enjoy all things. Places yeah. you should visit if you enjoy all things spooky. The Museum of Death. The Museum of Death, located in New Orleans, is a monument to all things scary and disturbing. The gift shop. Al <sighs> okay. I have questions. Museum of Death. I I like the darkness. I love dark, spooky stuff. But um, M Museum of Death in New Orleans. Girl, I need to see this myself. First vampires now museum of death i need to go check this out because i need to find myself a clouds let's continue alone is too disturbing for some people to handle the employees even keep a tally behind the nope, counter of who's passed out or in here. got me fucked up you have a tally mark of who has passed out and thrown up that day just by being in that museum amy that day the museum is home to several serial killer artifacts, such as letters from Jeffrey Dahmer, several paintings by John Wayne Gacy, hair and evidence from the O.J. Simpson trial, and several Manson family artifacts. However, the exhibits are really the claim to fame. They have real shrunken heads, body parts and jars, exhibits on cannibalism, and suicide machines. And perhaps most disturbing of all, you can make your way into the back, into a small theater, where hours upon hours of real-life death caught on camera is played uncensored. The point of the museum, according to the founders, is to show people death and make them grateful to be alive. This place is not for the weak of heart. But hey, if you pass out, you get a free t-shirt that says, I passed out at the Museum of Death and lived to talk about it. Yeah, I'm not going into this. Mm -mm. Hell no. And then they take you to a theater to watch uncensored death. And you got a free t-shirt because you passed out, baby girl. You ain't gonna catch me in there. Even though I do, like, I'm not that sensitive to, like, gross shit. I'm really not. I can watch gore stuff. But watching people's death, I probably would be crying instead of passing out because I, I will be feeling very, very bad. But the fact that you see that they have artifacts from actual deaths and 
evidence stuff from actual deaths that place is fucking haunted as fuck just let you know haunted as f because mm, mm -mm. so you guys liked the other video where this guy literally would tell us games that you that people play but i don't think you should play um hopefully you guys don't play these games but let's go on and watch this one first games you should never play part 39 the binoculars game with this game you can see something that could be a ghost you will need an empty house and first thing i'm not buying binoculars anymore i had some because I went to the Yankees game and they gave us one for free because we was high up so they just gave you the binoculars. No, 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 mm -mm. no ma'am. Binocular games. Who comes up with these games? Like, who? Are you, you must be really bored to come up with these haunted ass games. A friend and you should die your friend on the front door. Write on a piece of paper a message, something like, we welcome you, you shall not be harmed. Okay. Okay, this is the mistake people have. Why would you invite an entity into your home as a fucking game? Are you okay? Are you alone? Do not invite no entity because you do not know if it's a good one or a fucking bad one. And entities, demons, whatever you want to call it, spiritual, they take energy from you. They can make your life a living fucking hell. And people play around with this shit. This shit is not meant to be played around. Like, this game, not 30 me. PM, leave your friend and go and explore the house. And while you do that, say, come with me. We'll have lots of fun. Come with me. Then go back to your friend and place your ear to the door. If you hear a soft knock, then it worked. Get your binoculars and look out the window. If you see a dark figure, then it's him and he's coming. To stop it, you should say forgive for I am mistaken. Close your eyes and open them again quickly. If it worked, then he's gone. But if it didn't, then it was nice meeting you. I don't get this. I'm not playing this game. No. If you played it, let me know how it went. But he said a dark figure will be at your door. And watch the binoculars. No, it won't be me. <laughs> My man said, if it didn't work, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Don't play this fucking game because you are such an idiot if you do because half of the time they don't go away even if you said goodbye they don't they really don't so don't play this fucking stupid game the last video is basically continuing not continuing but it's part of the La Jorona if you guys haven't heard of the Jorona she resides basically in Mexico lots of people seen her in mexico or new mexico wherever you want but in mexico um she literally was a woman i believe let me th look this up because i want to say the right shit i don't remember what i said in the other video but i want to say this the correct way just a little okay so it's a hispanic American folklore, which we all are not. La Llorona is a ghost who roams waterfront areas mourning her drowned children. In a typical version of the legend, a beautiful woman named Maria marries a rich ranchero with whom she had two kids. And I believe he cheated, she found out, and she drowned them and then killed herself. And now she's roaming around the waterfront, literally trying to find her kids. And if you're in the way and she finds you, apparently she takes you that's the lo that's the story but she's mostly in mexico mexico city around there so let's watch this video of these two girls and i'm gonna put it up because my friend said to put this up so let's let's start okay if you don't believe in like you don't know 
Wait, wait. I'll watch that all over again. <laughs> okay, so I can say from the last Jorona video and this one, they have similar fucking cries, screams, whatever you want to fucking call it. Um, you see how quick they went in? They went quicker than Flash went in. Like, she heard that shit, that shit. She went, shoo. That would be me. I hear that, that would be fucking me. I'll be running inside like crazy. Like, fuck you. You can die. I'm going inside. But, I can say they do match. I have to check the video because sometimes the clips, the like the little voice things could be another video. But apparently my friend said no. It's not. It's their video, voice video. So, but they have the similar fucking voice. I do want to debunk it so bad, but it's like their face expressions are really, really, really real. Cause that's how I will react really fast. Like I hear some shit inside, literally. But if you live in Mexico, New Mexico, if you heard it, um, comment below and let me know. Cause I want to know. Even though I don't want to see her, I just want to know if it's ever happened to you. Have you heard her? Have you seen some shit? Let me fucking know. Um. Okay, guys. So I hope you like these four videos. Um. Uh, why did I do this? This is eight. Four videos and yeah i'll put in the description below um everyone account so you guys can go ahead and check them out um the videos are very impressive not that impressive because i do believe i can debunk one of all of them well except for the games in the museum that shit is real fuck out of here mm -mm. but i do have questions about the first one i'm gonna contact the person because i need to know it was real like i believe in everything spiritual but you know photoshop and stuff exists in this world right now so i need to know but yeah um if you guys do want to if you guys want like you can go ahead and like go on my twitter or my instagram and send me like your creepiest tiktok videos so i can see and react to it that would be a little bit more fun so you can do that go on my instagram and my twitter send me all the videos and you probably get a shout out well you probably 100% will get a shout out because I'm like that friendly but yeah you can catch me on Instagram Twitter and I always say tumblr but I don't use tumblr anymore so you can catch me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok and that's about it go in the description subscribe it's free to fucking support and subscribe and share so that would be highly appreciated i love you guys so much very dearly and yeah i see you guys next time deuces